Have you ever felt stuck in a low mood? Life throws curveballs, and sometimes it's hard to stay positive. But what if you could shift your energy and elevate your vibration? Even amid the challenges, I will delve into powerful techniques to instantly raise your vibration, helping you tap into a wellspring of positivity no matter the circumstances. Understanding vibration in the uphill battle currents of life, where challenges seem to keep coming your way, there exists a timeless quest, the pursuit of high or vibrations. But what does it mean to raise our vibration? It's more than mere positivity or fleeting happiness. It's about attuning ourselves to a frequency where peace, clarity, and resilience thrive. No matter the circumstances, vibration refers to the frequency at which your body, mind, and spirit resonate. Vibration can be understood through the lens of quantum physics, which shows that everything in existence, including human being, is a form of energy. This energy vibrates at different frequencies, and these frequencies can affect each other when we talk about raising your vibration. We're referring to increasing the frequency at which this energy vibrates. High vibrations are associated with positive feelings, while low vibrations are linked to negative emotions. Imagine a river flowing gently through a serene valley. Its waters reflect the tranquil hues of the sky above, undisturbed by the rocks and branches beneath this river, symbolizes the state of a raised vibration, calm, clear, and harmonious. Yet life often presents us with rapids, unexpected turns, obstacles, and turbulent currents that can stir us from our peaceful flow in these moments. It's natural to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or even sad. The challenges we face, whether personal, professional, or spiritual UAL, can weigh heavily on our spirits, dragging us into lower frequencies where fear, doubt, and negativity prevail. However, it's precisely in these challenging times that the quest to raise our vibration becomes most vital and transformative. Ancient wisdom offers profound insights into navigating these turbulent waters. Consider the parable of the lotus flower in eastern Philly. Philosophies born in muddy waters, the lotus emerges, pure and untainted, symbolizing enlightenment and spiritual growth. Despite adverse conditions, similarly in Western teachings, the metaphor of the phoenix rising from its ashes speaks to the power of transformation and renewal, even amidst destruction. Friedrich Nicker, the 19th century German philosopher, emphasizes the concept of the Ubermensch, or Overman which embodies the idea of transcending ordinary human experience and limitations. This notion aligns with raising one's vibration, striving for a high. Your state of being characterized by peace, clarity, and resilience nature believed that through the will to power, individuals could overcome obstacles and elevate themselves to achieve a more profound and meaningful existence. Now you may wonder, why is maintaining a high vibration so important benefits of maintaining a high vibration? Maintaining a high vibration is crucial for several reasons. One of the key reasons is your emotional and mental health. High vibrational frequencies are directly linked to positive emotions, such as joy, love, p, see, and gratitude when your vibration is high, you're more likely to experience these emotions leading to better mental health. On the other hand, low vibrations correspond to negative emotions like fear, anger, and sadness, which can contribute to mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. Studies in psychoneuroimmunology have shown that our thoughts and emotions can influence our physical health. Positive thoughts and emotions can boost our immune system and promote healing, while negative ones can have the opposite effect. High Vibrations CE and boost your immune system, improve sleep, increase energy, levels, and enhance overall physical well-being. Conversely, low vibrations can lead to stress fatigue and a weakened immune system, making you more susceptible to illnesses. This scientific evidence supports the idea that raising our vibration can lead to better health and well-being. This reminds us that the path to raising our vibration starts within the inner landscape, where thoughts, emotions, and beliefs intermingle. It's here that we can cultivate practices and perspectives that elevate us of above. The turbulence anchoring ourselves in peace and clarity 
This journey isn't about escaping difficulties, but about transcending them with grace and wisdom. People are naturally drawn to others who emit positive energy by maintaining a high vibration. You can improve your relationships and attract positive, like-minded individuals into your life. This can create a supportive network that further helps to maintain high vibrations. Many spiritual traditions emphasize the importance of high vibrational states for achieving enlightenment and deeper spiritual awal. Renes in Hinduism the concept of raising one's vibration is closely associated with the practice of chanting mantras. A prominent example is the chanting of Om considered the primordial sound of the universe. It is believed that the vibrations produced by chanting Om can align individuals with the universal consciousness promoting spiritual growth and a deeper connection with the higher self. This practice is rooted in ancient Vedic traditions and continues to be a fundamental aspect of Hindu spirituality aimed at achieving enlightenment and high. Gear states of awareness by raising your vibration, you can enhance your spiritual growth and feel more connected to the universe and your higher self. Recognizing the signs of low vibration is the first step toward making positive changes. Signs of low vibration. A key common indicator of low vibration is persistent negative emotions. If you find yourself frequently feeling emotions such as fear, anger, sadness, or hopelessness, it could be a sign that your vibration is low. These emotions can create a cycle that perpetuates low vibrational states, making it Challenging to break free without conscious effort low. Vibration can also manifest physically through chronic fatigue, frequent illness headaches, and a general lack of energy. You might also experience tension in your body, particularly in areas like the neck, shoulders, and back. A low vibrational state can lead to difficulty concentrating forgetfulness and a general sense of mental fog. This can make it hard to focus on tasks and make decisions leading to frustration and further lowering your vibration. Pay attention to your inner dialogue, if its dialogue is filled with self-criticism, doubt, and negativity. It's a clear sign of low vibration. Negative self-talk can erode self-esteem and make it difficult to feel good about yourself and your life. When your vibration is low, you may find it hard to feel motivated or enthusiastic about activities you usually enjoy. This can lead to a lack of productivity and a sense of purposelessness. The concept of paying attention to one's inner dialogue and its impact on one's well-being aligns with the ideas of Epicus, a Stoic philosopher. Epicus emphasized the importance of managing one's thoughts and perceptions. To maintain a sense of inner tranquility and resilience, he believed that our judgments about events rather than the events themselves are what cause us distress in his Enid Epicus stated, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. This principle demonstrates the idea that negative self-talk and self-criticism can harm our well-being by shaping our perception of ourselves and our circumstances. By transforming our inner dialogue, we can elevate our vibration or mental cess. Tate fostering a more positive and productive outlook on life. Understanding these signs is crucial because they can serve as a wake-up call to take action and raise your vibration. You see your vibrational frequency affects every aspect of your daily life. How vibration affects your daily life. A key way. Vibration frequency affects every aspect of your daily life is through your interactions with others. Your vibration influences how you interact with others and how they respond to you. High vibration attracts positive people and experiences, while low vibration can attract negativity and conflict. For instance, if you're in a high vibrational state, you might notice people are more friendly and helpful towards you. High vibrational states Promote clarity and intuition, helping you make better decisions when your vibration is low. You might feel indecisive or make choices based on fear and anxiety, which can lead to suboptimal outcomes. The concept of high and low vibrational states influencing decision-making is related to the ideas of David Hume, a Scottish Enlightenment philosopher. Hume emphasized the role of emotions and passions in human decision-making, arguing that reason alone is insufficient. 
he famously stated reason is and o at only to be the slave of the passions and can never pretend to any other office than to serve and obey them. This suggests that our emotional states, which can be likened to vibrational states, significantly imp impact our choices and behaviors. When in a high vibrational state or positive emotions, clarity and good judgment are more likely, whereas low vibrational states or negative emotions can cloud judgment and lead to poor decisions. High vibration fuels creativity and productivity. You're more likely to come up with innovative ideas and F, feel motivated to work towards your goals in contrast low vibration can result in procrastination, creative blocks, and a lack of progress. Your vibration shapes your perception of reality. When you're vibrating at a high frequency, you're more likely to see opportunities, beauty, and goodness around you. Conversely, low vibration can make the world seem bleak, full of obstacles, and devoid of hope. According to the law of attraction, like attracts, like by maintaining a high vibration, you attract positive circumstances, opportunities, and experiences int o oh, your life. This can include you'd everything from career, advancements, and financial gains to fulfilling relationships and personal growth. High vibration equips you with the resilience and strength to handle life's challenges more effectively. Instead of being overwhelmed by difficulties, you can approach them with a positive attitude and find constructive solutions. Now that you know how vibration affects your daily life, how do you measure the state of your vibration? How to measure your vibration? There are several ways to gauge your vibrational state one, of which is self-reflection regularly take time to reflect. On your emotions, thoughts, and physical state, notice patterns and changes that might indicate shifts in your vibration. Stoic philosophy encourages individuals to regularly reflect on their thoughts, emotions, and actions to achieve a virtuous and tranquil life. Key Stoic practices include daily self-examination and mindfulness. Helping individuals recognize and manage their inner states, this reflection. Fosters personal growth and resilience, aligning with the idea of noticing patterns and changes in O. Oh, knees vibration or state of being Marcus Aurelius. A prominent Stoic philosopher often wrote about the importance of self-reflection in his work. Meditations in his writings. Aurelius often reflects on the nature of existence, the transient nature of life, and the importance of living by virtue. He believed that by regularly examining one's thoughts and actions, an individual could align more closely with reason and nature. Achieving a state of inner tranquility and resilience, he wrote, Confine yourself to the present. This practice of being present, help. As individuals stay grounded and observe their current state of mind and emotions. Another way is energy tools. Some people use tools such as pendulums to measure their energy levels. These tools can provide a visual representation of your vibrational state. Advanced BioF feedback devices can measure physiological indicators such as heart rate variability, which can provide insights into your overall energy and stress levels. A crucial technique is feedback from others. Pay attention to feedback from friends, family, and colleagues. Sometimes others, EI, and notice changes in our energy and mood that we might overlook by understanding and paying attention to these indicators. You can become more aware of your vibrational state and take proactive steps to maintain a high frequency. So how do we tap into this power and start vibrating higher right now in the middle of the traffic jam? How to raise our vibration? One of the powerful ways to elevate your vibration quickly and effectively is through mindfulness practices by regularly qui in your mind and tuning into the present moment. You can foster a state o of peace and clarity set aside time each day for meditation. Even just 10-15 minutes can make a significant difference. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably and focus on your breath or a mantra to help center your mind. Practice mindfulness throughout your day by paying full attention to your activities, whether you're eating, walking, or working. Try to be fully present in the moment. This can help you maintain a high vibration and reduce stress use. Guided meditations to help you relax and raise your vibration. There are many available online that focus.
On various aspects of well-being, from stress reduction to enhancing positivity, the people and environments you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your vibration spend time with people, who uplift and support you. Positive relationships can significantly enhance your vibration and provide a strong support network. Keep your living and working spaces clean and organized. Consider using FUNU principles to arrange your space in a way that promotes positive energy flow. Deep breathing is one of the simplest and most effective ways to raise your vibration instantly. By focusing on your breath, you can quickly calm your mind and body, reducing stress and in re increasing your energy levels. Oh, knee of the few techniques you can try is 478. Breathing this technique involves inhaling for four seconds, holding the breath for seven seconds, and exhaling for eight seconds. Repeat this cycle four or five times to feel a sense of calm and clarity. Another technique is diaphragmatic, breathing also known as belly breathing. This method involves breathing deeply into your diaphragm rather than shallowly into your chest. Place one hand on your chest and the other on your abdomen. Inhale deeply through your nose, allowing your abdomen to rise, and then exhale slowly. I threw your mouth research in the field of positive psychology highlights the benefits of practices such as gratitude, which is known to raise vibration. This can improve mental health, increase happiness, and enhance overall life satisfaction. Gratitude has a powerful effect on raising your vibration. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you. It's about truly feeling thankful for the good in your life when you focus on what you are grateful for. Your mind shifts away from what is lacking or negative. This change in focus can lift your spirit as and elevate your vibration almost immediately spend. A few minutes each day writing down things you're grateful for. This could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee in the morning, a kind word from a friend, or a beautiful sunset regularly reflecting on these moments helps to maintain a high vibration. Begin your day with a gratitude meditation. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. Then think of three things you're grateful for and visualize them in your mind. Allow the feeling of gratitude to fill your entire being. Take the time to express your gratitude to the people in your life. Whether it's a thank you note, a heartfelt message, or a verbal acknowledgement letting others know you appreciate them can elevate your vibration and theirs by focusing on what you're thankful for. You can shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. Fostering positive emotions over time, you'll find that your mindset becomes more positive and your overall vibration rises. Positive affirmations are another effective way to elevate your vibration. These are simple positive statements that you repeat to yourself to counteract negative thoughts and self-sabotaging behaviors. For example, if you find yourself thinking, I'm not good enough, you can replace that thought with an affirmation like I am capable and deserving of success by consistently using affirmations, you can reprogram your mind to focus on positive beliefs, which in turn raises your vibration. William James, an American philosopher and psychologist, is often regarded as one of the leading thinkers of the late 19th century. He is known for his work on the philosophy of pragmatism and high as theories on the power of the mind in his lectures on the will to believe he discusses how beliefs and attitudes can influence our reality, aligning with the idea that affirmations can reprogram the mind to focus on positive beliefs and thereby change our emotional state and overall vibration during stressful moments. Use affirmations like, I am calm and centered, I release all tension and embrace peace, or I am in control of my emotions. These can help you regain composure and elevate your vibration movement, and exercise are also key to maintaining a high V. Vibration physical activity releases endorphins, which are chemicals in the brain that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session, or a dance party in your living room, Moving your body helps to release stagnant energy and boost your mood. It doesn't have to be a strenuous workout. Even gentle stretching can make a significant difference in how you feel. Spend a few minutes stretching your body. Focusing on areas where you hold tension. 
such as your neck, shoulders, and back stretching, helps to release stagnant ini, RGY, and increase your vibrational frequency listening. To uplifting music can instantly change your energy. Music has a profound effect on our emotions and can quickly shift our mood. The right kind of music can uplift your spirits and elevate your energy levels. Listen to music that resonates at high frequencies, such as classical instrumental or binaural beats. These types of music can have a soothing and elevating effect on your mind and body. Choose songs that make you feel happy, inspired, or calm, and, and let the music wash over you. This can be a quick and enjoyable way to elevate your vibration, especially when you're feeling down. Create a playlist of your favorite songs that make you feel happy, inspired, and energetic. Play this playlist whenever you need a quick vibrational boost. Engage with music by singing or playing a musical instrument. This active participation can amplify the vibrational benefits of music and bring joy and fulfillment. Walking in nature also helps take a walk outside, preferably in a natural setting, like a park or forest. Nature has a grounding effect that can help bay, lance and elevate your energy, pay attention to the sights, sounds, and smells around you to fully immerse yourself in the experience. The practice of walking in nature is a time-honored tradition for achieving balance and mental clarity. For instance, in Japan, the practice of, of Shinrin-yoku or forest bathing involves immersing oneself in a forest environment to promote physical and mental well-being. This tradition emphasizes the healing and grounding effects of being in nature, encouraging people to slow down and engage all their senses to fully expa, reance and benefit from the natural. Surroundings consistent self-care practices are essential for maintaining a high vibration by taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental needs. You can sustain your energy levels and overall well-being during difficult times. It's important to practice acceptance and letting go, holding on to negative emotions, and resistance can lower your vibration practice, accepting your current situation without judgment. Understand that it's okay to feel what you're feeling and that it's a natural part of the human experience engage in activities that help you release negative emotions, such as deep breathing. Imagine letting go of your worries and watching them. Drift away. Reaching out for support during challenging times is crucial for maintaining a high vibration. Even in difficult times, there are always moments of joy and beauty to be found shifting your focus to these small pleasures can significantly raise your vibration while these techniques can provide immediate relief and raise your vibration. It's also important to consider long T, RM strategies for maintaining a high vibration, a healthy diet, regular meditation, and surrounding yourself with positive influences can help sustain your energy levels and overall well-being. Raising your vibration is about making conscious choices that support your highest good. It's about feeding the good wolf with positive thoughts, emotions, and actions. The more you practice I these techniques, the more natural it will become to maintain a high vibration even in difficult times. By understanding and prioritizing your vibration, you can transform your life and attract more positivity and joy. So take a deep breath. Express gratitude, affirm your worth. Move your body and let the music play your journey to a higher vibration. Begins now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.